In today's video, I found hidden Yu-Gi-Oh items when I was moving out of my apartment. What's up guys, we're back with another epic. Well, this is, I guess, the first time we've done one. I moved out of my apartment, as you guys know, the other day, go check out the update video for 2024 if you guys wanna see you know, the update on 2023 and moving out and everything. But basically we moved out and I found some stuff that I either forgot I had, didn't know I had, or maybe didn't realize I had. There's a few awesome things. If you follow me on Twitter, go follow me at Ruxon34. You've already seen some of this stuff, but this is one of the big items. Before we get into what else I found, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards evenly matched. We have an Ice Dragon's Prison. That is a collector rare and 25th anniversary Eldritch the Golden Lord, which I can't really tell what it says. I just know it's an Eldritch alternate art. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What do you think about these items we found? And are you uh, are you surprised that I just completely forgot about these items? All right, let's start off with this one because this one's pretty fun. The other ones are, you know, pack related. So that'll be more fun to open up later. But this, if you can't tell, is sort of shaped shaped kind of you know spherically cylindrically is what you would probably say accurately so what could it be now you might know i have you know something over I, I i'm bad with mirroring this this little thing that is not up on the wall yet you know oh a poster hmm a posters what could this be this is actually a package i received based on the a label which is still taped onto the cylinder this postage is marked may 16th 2020 so we're talking early covid is when i bought this and received this i remember that i had this for a long time and i could not find it so i just thought i lost it or something as i'm moving out one of the last items i found was this all right here's a little hint guys here's a little hint konami oh yeah you didn't guess it was a it was a konami item but let me pull it out and show you guys just what's inside here the big reveal. If you can't tell already, that's upside down, I think. Let's go like this. Oh, you might get a little preview there. Invasion of Chaos. As you can see, this is not the perfect condition of this thing. But as you can see, it's an Invasion of Chaos. It's got the, uh, wait, Skull Arch Fiend of Lightning. I think I remember this. Introducing the latest weapon, Invasion of Chaos. It shows a Dark Crisis card here. Unlimited Dark Crisis makes absolutely zero sense, but whatever, that is very strange and very confusing, but I kind of remember that now that I've seen it, but all right, what's on the back? Nothing. Okay, so not much on the back, but 1996, Kazuki Takahashi, RIP. That was an item I bought three, four, four years ago at this point, basically three and a half, and just now found. So I'm probably gonna get this framed for the new studio, the new area. While it's not in as good a condition as my Metal Raiders, which is basically perfect, this is still a pretty awesome piece of history, especially with that Skullish Fiend of Lightning randomly on the poster, it makes no sense. One more note about the poster before we move on. I believe I spent about 60 bucks on that. And at the time I was like really excited about 60 bucks, which I might not even be a better deal now, but I was disappointed when I got it in the condition because I thought it was gonna be in better condition. So I just left it in that roll and that's how I ended up losing it because it stayed in there for multiple years until I found it. But now I'm thinking, man, it's not terrible condition actually it does have a crease on it and everything but honestly i think it'll look good you know framed okay now to the other set of items that i found so uh these are you might be familiar we've opened a lot of this set on the channel but it's still pretty cool i was grabbing all my old stuff that was in that like nine box thing that was behind me in the previous setup and i i once had a lot of legacy of darkness packs and stuff like that over there i thought i'd opened them all but it turns out I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more packs just sitting there. And then a Stardust Overdrive Unlimited. So all this stuff was just sitting in a Legacy of Darkness box that was like ripped in half. And I thought they were opened or I, they were under some fake packs or something like that. So I thought it was just a bunch of fake packs. It was not. It was some real first ed. The question is, did I like do any weighing with these or anything? Are they going to have any you know, foils in them. I have no idea, but we are going to find out in this video because we're going to open them up. And because there's only 10 packs there, I threw in some more packs. These I, you know, knew I had, but still really cool stuff. You know, I found a ghost in the past too. We got some King's Court stuff. I like got some really fun stuff thrown in there. Labyrinth of Nightmare original. So a very fun opening. Let's see if we can pull anything out of the forbidden, hidden, undiscovered packs from my apartment. Okay, let's just get to it. We have Battles of Chaos. Let's start it off hot with Battles of Chaos. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull. One, two, three. Yeah, that IOC, I was I was ecstatic to find that because I had been looking for that for like multiple years. But what you guys see, I just, well, you probably won't see, but I had so much crap in that one room. There was no way. There's an ultra rare ice jade. Okay, not the best car to pull, but it is an ultra rare. Can't complain. Uh, Yeah, I had a lot of crap in there. So there was no way I was going to be able to find certain things. I could barely move around there. It was back in a closet. I, there was no chance I was going to find that until I moved out. And thankfully, I did find it on the move out. 
And now we have it for the studio. And I have a lot more space to put, like, put up posters and stuff, which is cool. Commencement dance, we have a giant germ and the Jigen Bakudan. Starting it off slow, but that's okay. Let's do one of our Legacy of Darkness first editions. I believe these were retail, so it'll be injection fairly. If we get a secret rare, I would be really happy if we got a secret rare. Uh, we've had good luck with Dark Crisis recently. I've opened a little bit of it in several videos recently. Not several, a few videos. One, two, three, four. I'm going to hope that we can get something cool. Hoping I didn't like weigh these or something because I didn't usually weigh Legacy of Darkness. I haven't really done a lot of weighing in the last few years at all, but these are so, these could be really old. Like, I don't know when this was when I when I lost these. Dwelling in the cave, we have Rebirth. We have a Maharagi Throwstone unit. Super Robo Yaru. Here we go. A Lesser Fiend Machamp right off the bat. Lesser Fiend. Classic. Okay. Just kind of go in order here. We have Ghost from the Past, The Second Haunting. Guys, if you uh, have been following the channel recently, you know Ghost from the Past 1 has been the bane of our existence. But the live stream the other day, we had a little luck. So you might want to go check that out and see if we could. We finally turned our luck around on that Ghost from the Past 1 with Poisoner. Vision Hero Ferris, not a bad card. I'll put that aside. Okay, let's try a King's Court. I got a couple of these in here. King's Court has some cool cards in. A lot of them have been reprinted now, but I don't, I'm not going to do a pack trick because I don't think we need it. Golden Eyes Idol, we have Utopic Future. Pendulum XCs, Arcane Knight Joker, Rivalry of the Warlords, Reinforcement of the Army, and we're Legacy Guard Dragon. Okay, I was right. We did not need a pack trick. Let's do a Labyrinth of Nightmare. Let's do this. It's unlimited. We've had good luck with these old school packs recently, but Labyrinth of Nightmare is one that I could go for a Magic Cylinder or a Gemini Elf. I'd be really happy with one of those. Here we go. One, two. These are so gritty. It's crazy. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> I was like, well, what's going on? Yeah, the front of these is crazy. Okay, that one not so much. Soul of Purity and Light, we have Deal of Phantom, Flying Fish, Crimson Sentry, Dream Sprite, Earthbound Spirit, Grave Robber's Retribution, Gadget Soldier. This is a rust free machine warrior born to battle and uh, the spirit message. I, I, I. No luck that time. That's okay. The hidden Yu Gi Oh item. This is, man. I'm still pumped. I'm still pumped that we found that poster, and I'm hoping that these packs I will be pumped about as well when we get the injection very lily. Wishes, we have Baxia, Dowsing Fusion, and the Magnet Induction. So far, not a lot of luck with the packs. Let's try one more first edition Legacy of Darkness. Let's see what we can pull. First ed, L-O-D. One, two, three, four. We have the Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler, Grey Wing. Ready for intercepting. Nutrient Z. Plan Z can't possibly fail. We have Wiseman. We have Dark Soul. Super Rejuve. Bad Reaction to Smochi. And the Dragon's Bead. So far, not a lot of luck with the old school, but we will hold out hope for something epic. Tactical Masters coming up next. Can you give us something epic like a Collector Rare, please? Okay, I'm not going to do a pack trick on this one either. We have Labyrinth, Labyrinth Ku Clock. We have Scapegoat. Can we get that Scapegoat Collector Rare, please? Pendulum Switch. We have Anti-Spell Fragrance. Ruxin Special. Ride to the Labyrinth Barrage. Okay, not going so well in the opening so far. Okay, what are we going to do? L-O-N, maybe. Let's try that. L-O-N. Here we go. Oh, man. That pack just got annihilated. One, two, three, four. Give us a secret rare. The gritty cards. Deal of Phantom. Flying Fish. Crimson Sentry. Collected Power. Swordsman of Landstar. Baitol. Forgiving Maiden. Vengeful Box Spirit. And... Oh, an Ultra Mask of Restrict. I thought this was a uh, magic cylinder for a second. That is still amazing. The cover card... Mask of Restrict centering is not looking so hot, I'm not going to lie, but it's LON oftentimes has pretty bad centering. That's a really cool pull, though. So we've gotten something. We've gotten something good. All right, Wild Survivors, now's your chance. Give us that uh, that burglar real quick. The Hungry Burglar. One, two, three. I know you're getting excited about that next pack coming up. We have Manju. There can be only one. Miscellaneousaurus. Double Evolution Pill. Super Soren. Oh, and then there's a... Oh, yeah, so you do have to... Did I do a pack trick on this? How did that? I did, and that made it. F okay, yeah, I forgot. That's a newer one. So you actually have to do a pack trick. Okay, one more LOD. Then we're going to go do Soul Burning Volcano. I know you guys are excited about that one. We're going to get that Ghost Rare real quick. But first, we're going to get Injection Fairy Lily. Let's see if we can do it. We've pulled Injection Fairy Lily a couple times on the channel, but it's never going to get old. We have the Wolf Axe Wielder, Secret of the Bandit, Hunter with Seven Weapons, Lizard Soldier, Super Robo Yaru, Bark of Dark Ruler. Wing Dominion, 
Burst Breath. And we have a Royal Oppression. That's a very expensive rare, so we will take that. Very good card. I'm going to sleeve that up. I think that was 15 bucks last I checked. That was a couple, probably a couple, maybe a month or two ago, something like that. But it could still be pretty nice. So, I mean, it's going to be nice either way, but it might not be 15 bucks anymore. Soul Burning Volcano, I believe in you. Glass Jaw. Last counter. We're going to get that uh, Salaman Great Ghost Rare. We have 79. And number 105, so no, we're not going to get it this time. That's okay. We have mini packs left. Let's open the Stardust Overdrive. Let's, uh, no, 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 we'll, we'll do one more Legacy of Darkness first. Because we do have a few of these. We have nine, actually. A quarter of a first edition 36-pack booster box, which is not an insignificant amount of packs. Uh, that one was okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Gray Wing. Ready for intercepting. Nutrient Z. Ruxin Special. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Rejuvenation, Fushi Notori, and Injection Fairy Lily. No, wait. next card. Injection Fairy Lily. Oh, Fatal Abacus. Okay, so I think we're over right now on LOD. The extra packs not coming through like I was hoping they would, but Metal Raiders, our favorite set, may just do that. Here we go. Pecanio Moth, please. We have Dream Clown, Thunder Dragon, Flame Cerberus, Occubeam, Ground Attacker Bugroth, The Unhappy Maiden. Princess of Sarugi and the Kazijin. All right, super rare Kazijin. Very nice. We'll take it. That is something we cannot complain. Okay, we have five of these. Maybe we should do one more. Then we'll do Stardust Overdrive just to keep it, you know, interesting. We want to keep something, something different for a second. One, two, three, four. We have the Fiend Comedian. Give us our first foil. Come on. Secret rare. Let's go. Wolf Axe Builder. The Secret of the Bandit. Lizard Soldier. Mystery Guard. Stamping Destruction. We have Spring of Rebirth. Throw stone unit, and we have, oh, a super luster dragon. So we did get something. Centering is very Legacy of Darkness-like. Very Legacy of Darkness-like. Check that out. Well, we'll take it. That is a foil. It's something. 2400, one tribute. Back then wasn't terrible, but there was a summon skull that exists. Okay, start us overdrive. Let's try it. Unlimited. We've recently had good luck with some some sets like this. Uh, I guess it was start us overdrive first dead, so it was pretty good luck. So let's see if we can continue that. I think you do this pack trick. I'm not mistaken. All right, we have Ghost Rare Unlimited would be sweet. We've pulled it one time before. Dark Spider, we have Iron Core Armor. Infernity Necromancer, Quick Draw Synchron. That was almost a Ruction Special. Herculean Power, Solitaire Magician. Woodland Archer, Dark Rabbit. And we have the Fortune's Future. We got a foil, not guaranteed in this. So I was actually right about the pack trick, which is nice. Super rare. Fortune's future. So we are heating up a little bit toward the end. All right, LOD, we've got a total of six packs left. First edition here. Let's see if we can get something crazy. One, two, three, four. We have Warrior Die Greffer, the dragon dwelling in the cave, Spirit's Invitation, Twin Headed Wolf, Robo Lady, Serpentine Princess, Spirit Ryu, Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, and we have a Sousa Soldier. Wouldn't be LOD without pulling a Sousa Soldier. You always got to pull one. All right, LOB time, 25th anniversary. Can we get that Blue Eyes? have not pulled a Blue Eyes since this thing was released or re-released, you could say. We have the Furious Seeking. Come on, Dragon's Treasure. Let's give us the Dragon. Green Phantom King, that was a Ruxin Special. Monster Egg, Terror of the Terrible. We have Vile Germs, R Male, Fusionist, and the Kumu Toko. That is not a foil at all. Okay, four packs remain. First edition, Legacy of Darkness. We have one super so far. Not a great showing. Not a great showing at all. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We have a Legendary Ocean, Roboyaru, Fiend Comedian, Wolf Axe Wielder, Springer Rebirth, Great the Long Nose, Short Print, Throwstone Unit, Super Roboyaru, and we have a Lesser Fiend Machamps at it again. Three packs remain in the hidden opening. This one was not hidden, but the other two were. Let's see. Bless us with a little luck in honor of the IOC poster being found. One, two, three, four. Headless Knight. Lady Panther. We've already had a really good pull out of here. Tiki Eldo, let's see if we can get another one. Cure Mermaid. Bates All, the Forgiving Maiden, St. Joan. Empress Mantis. And the Return of the Doomed. We are indeed doomed in this opening if we cannot pull something big. Ultra at least. Give us an Ultra. Come on. Some really good ones in LOD. Give it to us. One, two, three, four. Double Snare, Devil Snare. We have Soul Demolition. Convulsion of Nature. Woodland Sprite, Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation, Bad Reaction to Samochi, Robo Lady, and the Fusion Sword Murasame Blade. 
Final chance, come on. Legacy of Darkness, please. I believe in you. You can do this. Last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and hopefully even better in the future. Let's end it off with Last Pack Magic. We have Warrior Digreffer, Dragon Dwelling in the Cave, Spirit's Invitation, Twin Headed Wolf, Robo Lady, Serpentine Princess, Spirit Ryu, Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, and we have a array of revealing light. So they were available, you know, there were. There were packs, but they did not have much inside. At least we got one foil out of them. Most excited about the Invasion of Chaos poster. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.